Let's talk about what's new NX1980. Let's talk about the sketch solver. Today I'm gonna be talking about the new feature called Work Region, which is a life savior. Hey guys, this is Simon from BizLearn. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and thank you for your patience because my last video upload is nearly 12 months ago. But from today, I'm gonna continue uploading content weekly. And of course, just because it's the topic of the month concerning what's new NX 1980, as well as some NX Cat secrets, of course. If you haven't subscribed yet, I recommend you to do. And also enable the ring bell to be updated when I'm uploading further content. In order to demonstrate to you the sketch, I need a sketch, which I'm gonna create directly in context of the coordinate system. I'm gonna draw some circles as well. And maybe you remember this exercise from one of your basic courses. The reason I'm using this exercise is I was recording a basic course and I was designing this symmetric part which is not symmetric yet i'm going to create a persistent relation here by the way so i wanted to modify this sketch with the new sketch solver and i was struggling i interrupted the video and decided not to show it and the first thing i did after having installed nx 1980 was of course i had nightmares I wanted them to stop. And guess what? Siemens had a solution for my problem. And for many, many other problems, which is called work region. And it's so simple. Nevertheless, I'm going to try to do an adjustment without work region and just have a look at the at details. Therefore, I'm going to create some dimensions. The type of dimension makes a difference because a dimension is a persistent relation and persistent relation always is a higher priority. So if it makes a difference if you select this axis or this center line and I was reproducing these steps four times, always slightly different and the behavior of the sketch solver was also a little bit different depending on my input, of course. And what I'm gonna do now, because this one is enabled, I'm just gonna modify this and see what's gonna happen. As you see here, there is an alert and maybe you did see the reason is the persistent relation here. And there is an opportunity, which is now called, it's been renamed, relax persistent relation, which I'm gonna use. And now I'm able to move this circle. This is not my wished result because I still want these lines to be tangent. And of course, I want the diameter to be equal to this one. So I will have to unrelax the equal radius as well. You can see that the parallel relation has been relaxed by the system already. So there is no need for manual input. So it's been a few clicks and it seems to be uncomfortable, but compared to the past, I mean, in the past, we, we needed to delete constraints, of course. There were also parallel constraints that needed to be deleted. And now we have the choice to, well, undo our clicks. As you can see, you can at any time play around here. This is just a display problem, I guess after the modification is going to be rearranged i can still click those of course and you can see the behavior as expected because if i unrelax the parallel relation here of course this one needs to move to the right i'm just going to interrupt this and undo the modification and let's have a look at the behavior when the persistent relation is deleted Those lines still have equal length because they are symmetric. So I'm just going to relax those. And of course here, the equal radius needs to be unrelaxed. So you don't have to 
relax the persistent relation you can because it's gonna be deleted afterwards what i did i've deleted it before the behavior and the number of clicks in the end is the same i believe that when you are reproducing this dApps, the behavior will be a little bit different because i have done this four times and it was always a little bit different depending on your dimensions depending on the curves you start with whatever Nevertheless, there is a solution for any type of complexity, which is called work region. Can be easily accessed via the W button on the keyboard. That's what I'm going to do. And what it does is pretty simple. You will have to select via the rectangle selection or simple single clicks. And I'm going to apply via the center mouse button. Now you can see everything else is fixed it's de-emphasized you don't have influence to those objects i have to undo some steps because the length needs to be equal here so i'm gonna do this again which is pretty simple entire sketch is the default solution of course and i'm gonna select those objects here center mouse button Everything else is fixed, it's de-emphasized, and now I can modify the dimension without additional clicks. There is no need of relaxing because it's relaxed automatically. And after the modification, of course, I will have to define entire sketch as a region again. This is always necessary and sketch is still fully defined. If you have any questions about the sketch solver or Maybe problems which I have not mentioned in this video. Let me know in the comments below. Next week, I'm going to do the next tutorial concerning the sketch solver. And it's going to be more complex than just describing a new tool. Because I'm going to show you some workarounds in order to solve problems. Which you might have when reusing old data. If you like my content, of course, subscribe. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.